so here we got a Gale Miller spreader. Uh, hard to find right now for sure. They said that it ran fine, everything worked. It does have, th this is factory, this plastic, and it cracks on these. So it's cracked in several places. Still functional, there's plywood underneath it. You can tell it's been shedded because the plywood's good. Single beater, it's rusted out on this shield, but that's just a shield over the PTO where some manure got set, okay? But in general, galvanized sides, uh, the plastic on the bottom. Um, this, this shaft has a little kink in it, and this will only go in this far, okay? It hooks up to the tractor, but it depends on what you hook it on, whether you're gonna have to work on this or not, because it only goes in, stops right there. This had a slight bend to it, we straightened it. This has a slight little nick right in here somewhere, uh, right there. And that's just enough to, to cause that. It's probably got a slight bend until it's only going in so far, okay? I want you all to know that in case we hook it up and then they forget to mention it, but I'm mentioning it. Um, you can see it's clean on the outside, galvanized sides there again. Frame looks good. Beaters look good. Uh, I think you can buy that plastic to replastic these. I don't know what it would cost. And you can run it without it. Dump motor oil on it and call it good. Uh, it'll be good for a long time. There is one little place right here. I'm gonna show you. This bearing holder hooks on right there in the frame. There's some slight rust through right there and right there where it's probably set on the bottom of that frame. But hey, it's good and solid. It's not all wobbly. It is a 175. Gale, give you an idea on dimensions. Inside, diameter's five feet. The front to back is Front to back's about 10 feet to the beater back here, and then it slants up a little bit. But to give you an idea how big it is, I'm not sure what they call it in bushels, but it's got the heavy, that is the heavy duty chain, T chain. 